Man, I'm super excited to be here. Yo estoy muy emocionado de estar aquí. I want you to look to the person next to you. Y quiero que mires a la persona a la par. And be like, wow. Y dile, wow. It looks like you showered tonight. Se ve como que te bañaste hoy. I'm very thankful. Estoy muy agradecido. Because I don't have to smell your, you know, yeah. Porque no tengo que oler, ya sabes. No, but tell the person next to you, I'm really happy to see you tonight. Pero dile a la persona a la par, estoy muy contento de verte. Uh, I'm really happy to be here. Like I said, I want to thank, uh, firstly, Como dije, I want to thank my uh, spiritual parents, a mis padres espirituales, apostle and prophet, apostle y profeta, and I want to thank my, uh, my youth pastors, y quiero agradecer a mis pastores de jóvenes, which is my parents. Que son mis padres. <laughs> uh, so wherever, wherever they, wherever, if they are seeing us right now, Así que si están I want esto, the camera to get an angle so they can, uh, you guys can wave hi to them. If we miss you. We want to thank you. Come on, get, oh, you guys get a, like an image. Uh, you guys can wave at that camera right there. We miss you. We love you, and we can't wait to see you soon. Los extrañamos, los queremos, y no podemos esperar a verlos. So, are you guys ready for the word today? Así que están listos para la palabra. Are you guys, are you guys ready? Están listos. If you guys are ready, then I'm ready to preach it. Si están listos, yo estoy listo para predicar. I have, a, I have, I have um, a, um, an important message today. Yo tengo un importante mensaje hoy. And. Today I don't want you to uh, lose your focus. Yo hoy no quiero que pierdas tu enfoque. I want you just to focus on God and focus on the word today. Solo quiero que te enfoques en Dios y en la palabra. Okay, so tell the person next to you be like don't bo don't bug me tonight. Así que le dile a la persona en la par, no me molestes hoy. Don't bo bother me. <laughs> no me molestes. Okay. Perfect. Uh, um recently we started a new series. Recientemente empezamos una nueva uh, with serie apostle. Con apóstol. And has, does anybody know what we've been speaking about? ¿Saben de qué hemos estado hablando? We've been speaking about ánimo, which is, is encouragement. We've been speaking about ánimo. So today what I'm going to preach about, so hoy lo que voy a, a predicar hoy, and if you guys can put it on pantalla, please, um, I'm going to be speaking about encourage even when I don't have anything. Y vamos a hablar de anímame a, aunque no quiera. It was supposed to be I don't have, but okay, I, I feel anything, okay. But how many can admit Pero ¿cuántos pueden admitir that throughout this time of pandemic, throughout this time of changes and so many things that we're going through, que en ese tiempo de pandemia y todos los cambios que hemos, estamos pasando, we do need encouragement. Necesitamos ánimo. How many of you guys have ever been without encouragement before? ¿Cuántos han estado sin ánimo I mean, antes? I'm pretty sure. If you guys haven't, then why? You guys are just... Yo estoy they're muy angels already. Just take them, Lord. Y si no lo han tenido, ya son ángeles. Que mejor ya te... But... We've all been dealing with so many things. Pero todos hemos estado lidiando con muchas cosas. And and there will be a point. Y va a haber un punto in your life. En tu vida. Will you be? You will be. Donde vas a estar. Notice that I said you will. Y, y dije vas a estar. You will be discouraged. Vas a estar desanimado. You will feel like you can't give anything anymore. Si vas a sentir como que ya no puedes dar nada. And perhaps you're like, man, that's me, Chris. That's me right here. Like, and I will lift up two hands. Y también puedes decir, yo puedo levantar las dos manos porque yo soy esa persona. And we can get discouraged by many ways. Y nos podemos desanimar en muchos lados. We can get discouraged because right now, recently, we have been um, uh, perhaps. You lost a family member. Nos podemos desanimar porque tal vez perdiste un familiar. Perhaps you were in a toxic relationship. O estabas en una relación mala. Or perhaps because you lost many members in your house of peace. O porque perdiste miembros en tu casa de paz. Or friendships. O amistades. Or perhaps o tal vez you've been discouraged. Has estado desanimado. Because you stopped feeling God like you used to. Porque paraste de sentir a Dios como antes. Has that happened to anybody here? Eso le ha pasado a alguien aquí? That you have you haven't felt God like you used to before. Que no has sentido. Or is that just me? No has sentido a Dios como antes o solo how many, yo. How many can raise your hand? With the raise your hands. ¿Cuántos pueden levantar I su mean, mano? It has happened to everybody. Nos ha pasado a todos. How many of you guys felt like you guys were stuck and you guys couldn't hear God anymore? ¿Cuántos se sintieron estancados? Would you raise no... your hands? Come on, don't be, don't be shy. Podían oír a Dios, levanten su mano. It's class participation today. Es participación de clase hoy. Well, you name it. You, you know the things that have been discouraging you in your life. Tú sabes las cosas que te han desanimado en tu vida. And there will always be a time and a place and a moment where you will feel like you ran out of strength. Y siempre va a haber un lugar y un tiempo donde va a llegar el momento donde te sientas que no tengas fuerzas. Where you feel like you have nothing else to pour. Donde te sientes que ya no tienes nada que dar. There will be a moment in your life. Va a llegar un momento en tu vida. Where you're not going to want to pray anymore. Donde no vas a querer orar. Has that, has that ever happened to you or has that only happened to me before? <laughs> le ha pasado a alguien o solo soy yo el que le ha pasado? Where you're not going to want to serve anymore. Donde ya no vas a querer servir. That you're not going to want to do Everything that you used to do. Donde no vas a querer hacer todo lo que hacías antes. And I'm here to tell you today. Y yo aquí estoy para decirte. That I don't blame you. Que no te culpo. 
I don't blame you for the way that we've all felt. No te culpo por cómo nos hemos sentido todos. Because it only ha it hasn't been you, it has been all of us. Porque no solo eres tú, es todos nosotros. But we're in the right place. How many believe that? We're in the right place. Pero estamos en el lugar correcto. ¿Cuántos creen eso? So it's been tough on all of us. Así que ha sido duro en todo con todos Not nosotros. Not only you. No solo tú. But tonight. Pero hoy. I hope you are under uh, you are able to understand. Espero que puedas entender that you have enough to give to God. Que tiene suficiente para dar a Come Dios. on, tell the person next to you, you have enough. Dile a la persona a la Come par. on, per tell the person next to you, you have enough Tú tienes suficiente to give to God. Para dar a Dios. You're about to understand me right now as we go into the verses. Y me vas a entender mientras que vamos a los versículos. So if you guys have your phone, if you guys have your phone, Así que si teléfono, I want you to pull it out and join me to the Bible. Quiero que saquen su teléfono y se metan en la Biblia. Okay. Look at, look at what it says in 2 Kings chapter 4. Y mira lo que dice en 2 Reyes capítulo 4. And look at what it says. Mira lo que dice. If you guys can help me read it. Si me pueden ayudar a leerlo. That would be lovely. <laughs> sería hermoso. Look at what it says. The wife of a how many of you guys have it already? ¿Cuántos ya lo tienen? No, okay, no, no one has it. Already. Okay, so just read it with me on the screen. Look at what it says. The wife of a man from the company of the prophets cried out to Elisha. She what? She cried out. Your servant, your servant, my, my your servant, my husband is dead, and you know that he revered to the he was revered to the Lord. But now his creditor is coming to take my boys as his slaves. Next, next verse. Elisha replied to her, how can I help you? Tell me, what do you have in your house? Your servant has nothing there, there at all, she said, except a small jar of olive oil. A what? ¿Qué? A olive oil. Aceite. And look at what it says. Elisha said, go around and ask all your neighbors for empty jars. Don't ask for just a few. Okay, next verse. Then go inside and shut the door behind you and your sons pour oil into all the jars and each is filled, put it to, put it to one side. She left him and shut the door behind her and her sons, they brought the jars to her and she kept pouring. Now, stop right there. I want you to see certain things that I found very interesting in this verse. Quiero que veas ciertas cosas que yo yo uh, encontré interesante en este versículo. First, primero, we see a woman. Vemos una mujer. We see a woman. Vemos una mujer trying to pay off her debt. Que, que está tratando de pagar su deuda. She's trying to pay, buy, uh, pay off her debt. Pagar su deuda. And she didn't have anything. Y no tenía nada. To pay that debt. Para pagar esa deuda. So the Bible says that she cries out. Así que la Biblia dice que ella suplica. Can you put that verse, please, for me? And, the, and it says she cried out to Elisha. Y ella él dice que suplicó okay, a Eliseo. Okay, let's stop right there. Y vamos a parar ahí. So we see a woman. So vemos una mujer that was probably frustrated. Que tal vez estaba frustrada. How many of you guys have ever been frustrated before? ¿Cuántos de ustedes han estado frustrados? Some of y'all turned into some <laughs> some crazy people when you, when you guys are. Uh, I don't know. I, uh, so I was frustrated, or I don't know. Unos de se vuelven locos cuando están frustrados. But look, Pero mira, look what it says. She was anxious. Estaba ansiosa. I'm, I imagine she was going through so many feelings. Y yo me imagino que estaba yendo por muchos sentimientos. And she was going through probably even discouragement that she couldn't pay off her debt. Y tal vez hasta desánimo porque no podía pagar esa deuda. So look at what it says. So mira lo que dice. So it says that she cries out. To Elisha. Dice que ella le suplicó the, a Eliseo. It, the Bible doesn't say that she just she just came to him and said, "Oh, you know what? I need help." No, la, the Bible says that she cried out to him. La Biblia dice que ella suplicó a Eliseo, no solamente so le dio algo. So what can we algo. see here? Uh, what can we see here right away? So qué podemos ver aquí? So like I said, this woman, como dije, esta mujer, was probably feeling anxious. Tal vez estaba sintiendo ansiosa. Frustrated. Frustrada. I don't know what she might have been going through. No sé qué es lo que estaba pasando. But the Bible pasando. says that she couldn't she couldn't pay off her debt because they were going to take away her kids. Pero decía que ya no podía pagar su deuda porque le iban a quitar know, sus hijos. You know, I'm pretty sure that she, like the feeling of a mother for someone to take her kids away. Yo no sé cómo se siente, pero el sentimiento I imagine it's horrible. Yo me imagino que es un, un sentimiento horrible. So I imagine that she hijos. wasn't happy in that moment. Entonces yo me imagino que ella no estaba feliz en ese she momento. She was probably frustrated. Tal vez estaba frustrada. She was probably discouraged. Tal vez desanimada. But one thing that she does right. Pero una cosa que ella hace, hace is bien. Is that she cries out to the man of God. Es que ella suplica al hombre de Dios. Number one, what I want to teach you tonight. Y lo que le quiero enseñar es. If you guys can put the uh, number one. Número uno. Is 
When we are going through discouragement, Cuando if, estamos pasando por desánimo, if you are taking notes, y si están tomando notas, when we are going through discouragement, through frustration, through anxiety, how many of you guys have ever passed through that, right? ¿Cuántos ustedes han sentido frustrados, ansiados? You see, human beings tend to push everybody away. Ven, los humanos tendemos de empujar a todos afuera. When we go through those things, cuando pasamos por because eso, because they're natural things, we feel them. Porque es natural y lo sentimos. And, look at, and, and, and she was going to it, but one of the things that she did right was to cry out for to Elisha. Pero lo que ella hizo bueno es que fue, suplicó a Eliseo. So number one. Así que número uno. Seek help with others. Busca ayuda con otros. Write it down. Where, where, where you're ever taking notes, right? Seek help with ahí, others. Ahí escribe lo busca ayuda con otros. There, there will be moments in life where we will feel like this woman. Va a haber momentos en la vida donde sentimos we feel like something is being taken away from us. Desánimo, como que algo nos, nos están quitando algo. In this case, y en este caso, it was their kids. Era sus niños. But let, let me rephrase this verse. Pero déjame parafrasear este versículo. What has this pandemic taken away from you? ¿Qué te ha quitado esta pandemia? Perhaps many of you guys lost your relationship with God. Tal vez muchos de ustedes perdieron su relación Perhaps con Dios. Perhaps many of you guys Felt discouraged. O se sintieron desanimados. Through so many problems that we're going through. Por los, todos los problemas que hemos estado pasando. And look at what, look, what I wrote myself here was that perhaps many of us have felt far away from God. Y lo que me escribí es que muchos de nosotros nos hemos sentido lejos de Dios. Like you feel Dios. like this pandemic ripped that from you. Como que esta pandemia te, te arrebató eso. Like you feel like this pandemic just ripped, I don't know, it ripped you, perhaps many of you guys lost a job in this pandemic. Tal vez perdieron un trabajo en esta pandemia. Remember, this lady was losing her children. Recuerden, esta señora estaba perdiendo a sus hijos. But how about you apply it to your life? Pero qué tal si lo aplicas a Can tu vida? Can you dim the lights a little bit lower, please? What is something that where this pandemic has stole from you? ¿Qué es algo que esta pandemia te ha robado? What has this pandemic done to you? ¿Qué te ha hecho esta pandemia? This woman was going through it. She was going through a difficult moment in her life. Esa señora estaba pasando por algo difícil en su vida. She was desperate. Estaba desesperada. Perhaps you are the same. Tal vez tú eres igual. Perhaps you came to this RG desperate. Tal vez veniste a ese servicio desesperado. And you're like, perhaps you don't show it to anybody. Y tal vez no lo enseñas con nadie. But within you, you know that you're discouraged and you're dry. Pero dentro de tú, tú sabes que tú estás desanimado y seco. And remember. Y recuerda. I want to remind you that I don't blame you. Te quiero recordar que yo no te culpo. I don't blame you for how you feel. No te culpo por cómo te sientes. It's been everybody. Porque ha sido todos. How, how about you raise your hand and be like, it's been me. Levanta Come tu on, mano right there where you are. Just raise your hand. It's been me. Levanta tu mano y dice, fui yo. But what I love about this woman Pero lo que a mí me de esta is that mujer, she cries out to Elisha. Es que ella le suplica a she cries out to the man of God. Le suplica al hombre de Dios. And look at what it says. Y mira lo que dice. She seeks for help. If you have been and if you, if you have been feeling alone, y si te has solo, discouraged, o desanimado, if you've been needing a prayer, si has una because oración, how many of you guys know that there's moments where we do need prayer? Porque hay momentos donde sí necesitamos where we need oración, someone to lift us up. Donde necesitamos que alguien nos levante. Where we need someone to be like, hey, I'm here for you. Donde necesitamos que alguien me diga, how many diga, of you guys can say amen? Estamos aquí para But one ti. of the things that she, I love what she does, is that she seeks for help. My question for you is. Así que me pregunta para ti es What are the things that you are going through in your life? ¿Qué cosas están pasando en tu vida? Perhaps you've been in a dark hole. Tal vez has estado en un hueco oscuro. And other than seeking for help, you've been pushing away people from you. Y en vez de buscar ayuda, has estado empujando a la gente. Perhaps you you got far from church. Tal vez te alejaste de Dios. Perhaps there was something that hurt you. Tal vez hubo algo que te lastimó. A relationship, a friendship, Una I don't know, whatever it might be. Relación, amistad, lo que sea. And that made you push people away from you. Y eso hizo que alejaras a las personas de ti. But what I love about this woman like I said. Pero lo que a mí me encanta de esa mujer como dije. Is that she seek for help. Es que ella buscó ayuda. This is the night. Esta es una noche. Where you can you make the decision. Donde tú tomas la decisión. To say you know what God? Para decir sabes qué Dios. I do need help. Yo ocupo ayuda. I'm anxious within. Yo estoy ansioso I'm por dentro. I'm actually dry when I've been pretending like I'm actually a holy saint. Estoy in here. seco y he estado pretendiendo How que many of you guys relate santo? to what I'm telling you? ¿Cuántos se pueden relacionar con lo que les digo? How many of you guys, like like I said like you ask yourself. Pregúntense. Where did I lose my encouragement? ¿Dónde perdí mi ánimo? What was the moment in this pandemic where I got far away from God? ¿Qué en qué momento en la pandemia me alejé de Dios? When I didn't feel motivated anymore. 
Cuando ya no me sentí motivado. What was the moment where I got hurt? Cuando fue el momento que me lastimé, maybe. Well, look, this woman seeks for help. Y esta persona buscó ayuda. And what happens? ¿Y qué pasó? That when she seeks for the help, que cuando ella buscó la ayuda, the Bible says that, 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 that when she seeks for the, the, the help in the man of God, la Biblia dice que cuando ella buscó la ayuda en el hombre de Dios, there, her miracle happens. Pasó su milagro. And what I noted myself here was there are miracles you need hay that mi, you need. Hay milagros que tú necesitas that require others to help you. Que requieren que otros te ayuden. That woman wouldn't have received her miracle. Esa mujer no hubiera recibido su milagro. If she wouldn't have asked for help. Si no hubiera pedido ayuda. I know that it can be a little bit humbling. Yo sé que puede ser un poquito I know that it can be a little bit um, uh, you can battle within yourself to ask for help. Y que puedes luchar en ti mismo para because pedir ayuda. Because you don't like to show your weakness to nobody. Pero que no te gusta demostrar tu debilidad en frente Wait, de la gente. How many of you guys have weaknesses? Pero cuántos de ustedes tienen debilidades? There we go. But what, we, what this lady does, she cried out to him. Pero lo que esta señora hace es que ella suplica. Tonight is the night where you cry out to God and ask Him, God, you know what? I've been going through this. Hoy es la noche que tú suplicas a Dios y le dices, Dios, sabes que yo he estado pasando por esto. And I need esto. your help. Y ocupo tu ayuda. I need you to take me out of this depression that I've been going through for years. Necesito que me saques de esa depresión que estoy pasando por años. I need you to años. take me out of these insecurities that I've been feeling for years. Que me quites esas inseguridades que he sentido por I años. I need you to take me out of this lack of motivation in my life. De este desánimo en mi vida en, por todos estos años. Ask yourself. Pregúntate. And when you ask for the help, y cuando pidas ayuda, that's where your miracle will, miracle will come. Ahí es donde va a venir tu milagro. But if you don't say a word, pero si tú no dices nada, and if you don't seek for the help, y si no buscas la ayuda, then you will never receive your miracle. Entonces nunca recibirás tu milagro. And I'm gonna keep on going and look at what is and look at what um, I'm gonna I'm gonna get to something. Y voy a seguir y voy a llegar a algo. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep reading this verse. Y voy a seguir leyendo este versículo. So remember if. One number one thing that we should do es que lo que que hagas is ask for help. Es busca ayuda. Tell the person next to you and tell them, ask for help. Dile a tu vecino, pide ayuda. If this lady wouldn't have asked for the help, si esa persona, esa señora no hubiera pedido la ayuda, she wouldn't have received her miracle. No hubiera recibido su milagro. So let me ask you, Así que déjame preguntarte, what miracle do you need in your life? ¿Qué milagro necesitas en tu vida? Do you need someone to help you out to read your Bible? Necesitas que alguien te ayude a leer tu It can be the smallest thing ever. Puede ser lo más pequeño. It can be the most simplest thing ever. Lo más simple. The only thing you need to do is ask for the help. Lo único que tienes que hacer es pedir and, ayuda. And this woman, I love that, I love that word. It says she cried out to him. Y me, so, me gusta eso que suplicó. She literally said, "Hey, I need your help." Ella dijo, "Yo necesito tu ayuda." Some of you guys are not acting like desperate. Tal unos ustedes no están actuando desesperados. But probably within you, you're like, "Man, I need someone to help me out now before I leave this church and before I lose my purpose." Pero otra vez adentro de ti está diciendo, "Yo necesito que alguien me ayude ahora antes de que deje la iglesia y mi propósito." How many of you guys are understanding me? ¿Cuántos me entienden? Look at what second. Uh, uh, we go into the same verse, and yeah. after she received the obviously uh, she received the help. Y cuando ella recibió la ayuda. Look at what it says. Mira lo que dice. It says, Elisha replied to her, "How can I help you?" Y qué puedo hacer por ti? Le preguntó Eliseo. Tell me what you what you do. What do you have in your house? Dime que tienes en casa. Your servant has nothing there at all. Su servidora no tiene nada en casa. She said, "Except a small jar of olive oil." Le respondió, excepto un poco de aceite. Let's stop right there. Y vamos a parar ahí. So, this woman. Así que esta mujer. Literally has nothing. Literalmente no tiene nada. Literally has nothing. Nada. And then you hear the man of God tell her. Y luego escuchas el, al hombre de Dios diciéndole. Pour out the last thing you have. Tráeme lo último, lo último que tienes. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You're not making the Bible is not making sense here. La Biblia no está haciendo sentido. Why would you sentido? tell a person? ¿Por qué le vas a decir a una persona? To give que dé the last thing that they have. Lo último que tiene. Shouldn't you be reserving that? No, no lo deberías de reservar. Shouldn't be you keeping that? No lo deberías de guardar. And not give it. Y no darlo. So you can at least have something. Para que al menos tengas algo. But let me rephrase this verse. Pero déjame it says, para esto. It says, so she's Elisha replied to her, "How can I help you?" Le preguntó Elisa, "¿Cómo puedo ayudarte?" What do you have in your house? ¿Qué tienes en tu casa? Your servant has nothing at all. Tu <laughs> servidora no tiene nada en casa. And then what she did, literally the courage. Literalmente el. That Elisha has to tell her, you know what? I, with that little that you have. Lo que tiene Elisa para decir, con ese poquito que tienes. I want you to pour it. Quiero que lo vacíes. Now you, I'm gonna get somewhere, and I, I want you to be 
like ready to receive this. Quiero que estés listo para recibir esto. Point number two. Punto número dos. Keep pouring. If you guys can put keep pouring, okay, I, I want you to repeat, repeat after me. Say keep pouring. Repite conmigo. Sigue vertiendo. So secondly, what you see here. This is so powerful. I love this. Es muy poderoso y me y lo amo. So we see the man of God. So que vemos el hombre de Dios. Ask her to pour everything that she had. Pidiéndole que de todo lo que ella tiene. So basically, let me rephrase this verse. So básicamente déjame para fraciar esto. How many of you guys have ever felt discouraged? ¿Cuántos de ustedes han sentido desanimados? Perhaps you feel discouraged right now. O tal vez te sientes desanimado ahorita. So in this verse, he's telling her. Uh, he's, he's telling her. En este versículo le está diciendo. I want you to give everything that you have. Quiero que des todo lo que tienes. Now let me rephrase this. Ahora déjame para fraciar esto. Basically, in, the, in well, if we put it to our 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 our, our, our teaching. Si lo ponemos en nuestra prédica. God is asking you. Dios te está pidiendo. To say, uh, God is asking this. Um, let me rephrase this verse. So basically, what he was saying is this. In other words. En otras palabras. So are you asking? So are you asking me to serve more? Me estás pidiendo que sirva más. So are you asking me to open up more? Uh, um, to ask me to give more? Me estás pidiendo que dé más. So this woman didn't have anything. Así que esta mujer no tenía nada. She didn't have a single thing. No tenía una cosa. A jar, a, a olive, a, 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 um, a jar of olive oil. Pero un, un poco de aceite. You see, perhaps you in your life. Y tal vez en tu vida. You feel like you have nothing. Te sientes como que no tienes nada. You feel like you have no more strength. Como que ya no tienes fuerza. You feel like you have no more motivation. No tienes motivación. You want to leave the house of peace already. Quieres dejar tu casa de paz. You don't want to even come come to our services. Ya no quieres venir a los servicios. Perhaps you feel like you have nothing to give to God. Tal vez te sientes como que ya no tienes nada de darle a Dios. So basically, what Elisha was telling her, give everything that you have. Y básicamente Elisha le está diciendo, dan todo lo que tienes. And with that little that she had. Y con ese poquito que ella tenía. The Bible says that she was able to fill. So Many other jars. La Biblia dice que ella pudo llenar. But the Bible llenar. says that she had to take action. Pero dice que tiene tuvo que tomar acción. Now, what if, if we put it to this, or, or like I said, into this teaching? Y si lo podemos en esta predica. Perhaps you came dismotivated. Tal vez veniste desanimado. Perhaps you came discouraged. Tal vez desanimado. Perhaps you said, you know what? Because I have no more strength to keep doing my house of peace. Ya no tengo fuerzas para hacer la casa de paz. And imagine if God told you. Imagine you came to God and you're like, you know what, God, I'm sorry, like. I'm done. Imagínate you know que me a Dios y le dices, ¿sabes qué, Dios? I don't no feel I don't feel passion anymore. Ya no siento pasión. I don't I feel desmotivated. Me siento desmotivado. My disciples have left me. Mis discípulos me dejaron. You know what? I think I'm done. ¿Sabes qué? Yo creo que ya terminé. So imagine you coming to God. Así que imagínate que tú vienes a Dios. And then God tells you, "Wow." Y, y luego Dios te dice, "Give more." Wow, da más. Serve more. Sirve más. Give more. Da más. And you're like, wait, wait, hold up, God. Didn't you just hear me? I just said that I don't have any strength anymore. I have nothing. I have no more. I lost my job. I lost my. I encouraged me like, are you not? Are you like, am I? Am I making sense? Y tú dices, Dios, estoy haciendo sentido y no tengo nada. That's what the lady was telling Elisha. Eso es lo que la señora le estaba diciendo a Eliseo. She was telling Elisha, hey, I have absolutely nothing. Le estaba diciendo a Eliseo, no tengo nada. And then Elisha tells her. Y Eliseo le dice. All right, with, with that little you have. Pues con ese poquito que tienes. Pour it. And so imagine Dale. you coming to God. Así que imagínate que te vienes a Dios. And then God says, you know what? It's because I feel like this, God. I feel like that. I feel, I feel like my relationship with you is already done. There's no point for this anymore. There's no point for me to come to church. There's no point for me to trust somebody because they broke my trust because I'm broken hearted because. Y le dices a Dios, no, no hay sentido que yo venga, que yo, que yo ore porque yo no tengo nada. And imagine God just telling you, just looking you and be like, wow. Imagínate que Dios solo te mira. I can already imagine. Ya me lo imagino. God telling you, wow. Dios te dice, wow. Son. Hijo, you have more to give. Tienes más que dar. And you're like, what the heck? Y tú dices, ¿Qué? Am I making I'm like what what is going on? ¿Qué está pasando? Basically what I'm trying to get at. Y lo que quiero decir is the little that you have. Es que lo poco que tú tienes. God wants to bless it. Dios lo quiere bendecir. And God wants to use it. Y Dios lo quiere usar. The Bible the Bible says that she had to pour it. La Biblia dice que ella tuvo que vertirlo. There, be, there came a point. I mean, there is in many of our lives. In muchas de nuestras vidas. There came a point. Llega un un tiempo. Where we stop pouring in our relationship with God. Donde paramos de llenar la relación de Dios. Where we stop pouring in our service. Donde paramos de llenar el servicio. Where we stop pouring in our houses of peace. Llenar en las casas de paz. Where we stop pouring. Donde paramos. In 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 you name it. En lo que tú nombres. 
But many of us stop pouring in what God has given, given us. Muchos de nosotros paramos de llenar lo que Many Dios of us stop pouring in friendships and relationships because you were you because perhaps that relationship was broken. Muchos de nosotros paramos de llenar esas, esas relaciones porque tal vez esta relación estaba rota. So what was God trying to tell this woman? Así que lo que Dios estaba tratando de decir a esta mujer. The oil el aceite and the strength and the experiences you are you have you have you had y las experiencias que has tenido are more than enough for God to use son más que suficientes para que Dios los use but you need to pour it pero necesitas que llenarlo i know it's been tough lately y yo sé que ha sido difícil throughout this pandemic en esta pandemia there has came a point we all felt discouraged y llegó un momento donde todos nos sentimos desanimados felt lost perdidos but Let me tell you Pero déjame decirte that it's time to keep on pouring. Que es tiempo de seguir llenando. Many of us Muchos de nosotros stop pouring because we got hurt. Paramos de llenar porque nos lastimamos. By the church, la iglesia, by friends, por amigos. Many stop pouring in our spiritual life. Muchos pararon de llenar su vida espiritual. And we let it die. Y dejamos que muriera. Many of us Muchos de nosotros stop pouring paramos de llenar in our disciples. en nuestros discípulos. Many of us stop pouring in our, in, in our service. En nuestro servicio. And, and here, here comes something very strong. Y aquí viene algo muy fuerte. The enemy, the, um, the enemy knows El enemigo sabe that if he can get a hold, if he can't get a hold, que si no puede He can't get a hold of your jar. Agarrar tu trabajo. Because you feel like perhaps right now that like you have nothing to give. Porque tal vez sientes que no tienes nada que dar. Well, he will get you to. If the devil knows that he can't get your jar. Si el diablo sabe que él no puede agarrar tu jarrón. Then he will get you to stop pouring. Entonces él va a agarrar que hacer que tú pares de llenar. Everybody has a jar. Todos tenemos un un jarrón. And perhaps your jar is already. Perhaps your jar is like, you know what? It's down here. Y tal vez ya está aquí. I don't have anything to give to God anymore. Ya no tengo nada que dar I feel tired. Me siento cansado. I don't feel like doing anything anymore. Ya no I don't feel like connected to has a peace. Ya no quiero hacer nada I don't have strength. La casa de paz. Ya no tengo fuerzas. Everybody has a jar. Todos tienen una vasija. And the devil knows that if he can't get your jar, y el diablo sabe que si él no puede agarrar tu vasija, he's gonna get you to try to. He's gonna try to. Uh, try to stop you from pouring Para intentar hacer que ya no llenes. in your purpose en tu, in your relationship with God en tu propósito, en tu in relación your con service Dios, en tu servicio. so what are the things so, that you stop pouring into ¿qué son las cosas que pares de llenar? what are the things ¿Cuáles son las cosas that the devil que el diablo made you stop pouring into? You know when you're gonna when you're gonna take care of a plant. Para las de llenar, sabes cuando cuando estás cuidando una planta. You need to pour water for it to grow. Tienes que llenarla de agua. And it's the exact same thing. Y es lo mismo. Some of us stop pouring in so many things. Paramos de llenar tantas cosas. That that's why many times we we feel discouraged. Que es por eso que muchas veces nos sentimos desanimados. We feel hurt. Nos sentimos lastimados. So ask yourself. So pregúntate. What are the things that I I stop pouring into? ¿Qué son las cosas que para de llenar? Perhaps you feel like you don't have anything to give. Tal vez sientes que no tienes nada que dar. Like that woman. Como that esa perhaps mujer. she felt like she had no more strength. Que ella tal vez se sintió como que no tenía fuerzas. She had nothing fuerzas. else in her jar. No tenía nada más en su vasija. But one of the things that I was asking when I was praying. Y algo que yo estaba, cuando estaba orando y pidiendo, I was asking God. Le estaba pidiendo yo a Dios. God, why did you ask her to? Why did you use Elisha? Dios, ¿por qué usaste Eliseo? To tell that woman to give everything that she had. Para decirle a esa mujer que diera Wouldn't todo lo que tenía. Wouldn't it have been easier for Elisha to be like, you know what? Hang up a moment. I'm gonna go get some olive oil that I have and I'm gonna give it to you. No hubiera sido más fácil decirle a Eliseo que él dijera que él iba a ir a agarrar that el, el aceite easier. que ella ten, él tenía. But God didn't do that. God didn't, es, God didn't allow that to happen. Eso iba a ser más fácil, pero Dios no permitió eso. And when God was speaking to me, y cuando Dios me hablaba, is because he was, he was telling me, he, what I felt strong what he said is this. Y lo que sentí muy fuerte que él dijo fue esto. 
He was saying, él estaba diciendo, um, he, he was saying that that oh, wait, uh, I just lost my, my, my train of thought. Give me one sec. Um, when I was praying, cuando oraba, and, when, and what God was telling me, y lo que Dios me decía, is that many of us es que muchos de nosotros tend to think pensamos that when I have um, when I have more que cuando tengo más, once I get more I'm going to give more cuando obtenga más, voy a dar más. but with God Pero con Dios, it doesn't work that way así no funciona. with God con Dios, it, God told me it becomes more Dios me dijo, Viene as más. it is poured more Mientras que llenas. You see, many of us stop pouring in our relationship with God. Y muchos de nosotros paramos de llenar nuestra relación con Dios. Paramos. And perhaps you say right now, it's because right now I don't have anything to give. Y tal vez dices que no tengo nada que dar. And until I go to a retreat once again, until I go to this, until I go to House of Peace, I get revived again, then I'm going to begin to serve. Pero si voy a un retiro, voy a una casa de paz, me avivo otra vez, voy a empezar a servir otra vez. And it doesn't work like that. Y así no funciona. God told, God, God was speaking to me, and He was like, it's because that woman, that woman thought that she, the, the, that woman thought y Dios me hablaba, me decía que esa mujer pensaba, that, um, what, that woman many times we think like that woman Tal, muchas veces pensamos that como once esa mujer. I get more of his presence once I get more of this then I'm going to give Cuando obtenga once, más de su presencia, más once de esto, I feel encouraged voy a dar cuando me then I'm going to encourage others a, entonces voy a animar a otros. and it doesn't work like that y así no funciona. and when the Bible says that when God La Biblia dice when that woman que cuando esa mujer poured llenó that olive oil ese aceite, as she was pouring it mientras que ella llenaba, as even if right now you don't feel anything y tal vez ahorita no sientes nada, but as you serve pero mientras que sirves, and as you give yourself to God y mientras que te das a Dios, even if you feel like you had nothing tal vez aunque te sientes que no perhaps tenías nada, you felt like you were just rock bottom and you didn't have anything to give anymore tal vez te ya hasta el fondo que no but nada as que dar. you keep pouring pero mientras que sigues llenando, in relationships en tus relaciones, in your house of peace en tu casa de paz, in your service En tu servicio, then God will begin to pour more in you. Entonces Dios va a más like a I ti. said, and many of us think dije, that pensamos, once I get more of this, que que, once, agarre, I, más, once I fix my relationship with God, then I will pray for others. Cuando, cuando mi con Dios, voy a orar it por doesn't otros. work like that. Y así no I know you might feel to the bottom, Yo sé que tú tal vez but al, let al fondo, me tell you something. Pero the algo, same way God provided for that woman, en la misma forma que Dios por when she had Nothing. No tenía nada, she didn't have strength. No she had nothing. No tenía nada. The same way God will make it enough Así when mismo, you give Him your enough. Dios va a darte lo Perhaps you, have, you feel like you have nothing. Tal vez que no nada. Well, God can use that little something Dios puede usar ese to do big things with you para hacer cosas grandes contigo. but you need to keep pouring Pero necesitas que seguir you need to keep serving necesitas que seguir sirviendo. keep pouring out to God Sigue llenándole a Dios. perhaps many of you guys got discouraged because you saw something uh, I don't know whatever it might be Tal vez te desanimado por cualquier cosa. but God is telling us Pero Dios está diciendo, I need you to pour more out Necesito que llenes más. I need you to pour more out your service Necesito que des más de tu servicio. because even if you feel like you have nothing Porque, aunque te sientes que no tengas nada, that little thing es, that you have poquito que tienes, I will make it much more voy a the same más. way that she did it with this woman La misma que le hizo con esa mujer. so to me when I was reading this verse Así que cuando yo leí este versículo, I was like man God like this is crazy like isn't it crazy for God to ask you to give something that you don't even have you está loco porque Dios está pidiendo que des algo que no tienes that's crazy to me y eso es loco para mí. but what happens when you don't pour Pero ¿qué pasa cuando no llenas? Wait, what happens when even if you're in your in your this in, your, your when you feel stuck ¿Qué pasa que cuando, aunque te sientas estancado, what happens when you don't pour what happens when you don't give ¿Qué pasa cuando ya no das to God. a Dios? Even when you feel like you have nothing, Aunque cuando te sientas que no tienes nada, you will stay frustrated, te vas a quedar frustrado, you will stay stagnant, te vas a quedar atorado, you will stay disappointed, te vas a quedar desanimado, you will stay, you will stop, you, you will stay, you will, you will stay, te quedarás bitter, amargado, 
you will stay stuck te quedarás estancado you will stop forgiving vas a parar de perdonar and you will stop growing y vas a parar de crecer what happens when we don't pour ¿Qué pasa cuando ya no llenas? our olive oil what does our olive oil mean? ¿Qué es nuestro aceite? it means our life Significa nuestra vida. many of us stop pouring Muchos de nosotros paramos de llenar our life in the ministry nuestra vida en el ministerio. in God en Dios. and God is just asking you y Dios solo te está pidiendo. if you are able to understand this message y si puedes entender este mensaje, and say y decir, you know what? ¿sabes qué? With the little that you have, con el poquito que tienes, with the little strings that you have, con el poquito aceite que tienes, I can do so many things that you've never imagined. Puedo hacer tantas cosas que no te imaginas. But you need to pour. Pero tienes que llenar. How many of you guys understand me? I, I, I know, how, me how many of you guys understanding me? And lastly, y por último, what should we do? ¿Qué es lo que debemos hacer? What should we do with one another? ¿Qué es lo que debemos hacer con uno now that otro? we know. Ahora que sabemos, now that we know. Ahora que sabemos, that with the little that we have. Que con lo poquito que tenemos, with God. Con Dios, with ourselves. Con nosotros, and you say you know what God. If y, you can just use me even if I don't have anything. Y dice, ¿sabes qué, Dios? Si me puedes usar aunque no tenga nada, do it. Hazlo. Once. Once we recognize Cuando reconozcamos that we need the help que necesitamos la ayuda, and once you recognize y cuando reconozcas, that you need to keep pouring que necesitas que seguir llenando, then it's time to help others. Entonces es tiempo de ayudar a otros. I want you to join me to first the uh, the, the Lothonians 5.11 and look at what it says y mira lo que dice 5, therefore Por eso, encourage one another y unos a otros. build each other up build each other up Edif unos a otros. just as in fact you are doing Tal como lo vienen haciendo. despite of many that have failed us Aunque haya muchos que nos hayan fallado. even if People have failed us. Aunque las personas nos hayan fallado, people have hurt us. Nos han lastimado. Because people will be people and Porque la gente va a ser gente. And sometimes they will fail us. Y y hay veces que nos van a fallar. We, we should continue encouraging one another. Tenemos que continuar animando animándonos unos a otros. Despite of how we feel. No importa cómo nos sentamos. We should keep encouraging one another. Debemos seguir animándonos uno a los otros. The little that we have y lo poquito que tengamos is all God needs. Es todo lo que Dios necesita. I want you to close your eyes right there where you are. ¿Y dónde estás? Quiero que cierres tus ojos. Close your eyes right there where you are. ¿Y dónde estás? Cierra tus ojos. Can you dim the lights a little bit more, please? Come on, I want you to just close your eyes. I feel like God is trying to do something. Siento que Dios quiere hacer algo. Perhaps many of you. Tal vez muchos de ustedes. Feel guilty. Se sienten culpables. Because you did, because you you stop your relationship with God. Porque paraste tu relación con Dios. Porque descuidaste lo que Dios te ha dado. Because you didn't take care of what God gave you. Perhaps many of you Tal vez muchos de ustedes felt discouraged se sintieron desanimados and that's why you stopped serving. Y por eso pararon de servir. That's why or many of you muchos de ustedes perhaps felt Tal vez hurt se sintieron lastimados with somebody in specific. Por alguien en específico. And that made you push people away. Y eso hizo que empujaras a la gente perhaps para. many of you por muchos de ustedes heard something Tal vez escucharon algo that you didn't like. que no te gustó. And that, that, that confused you. Y eso te confundió. And that's what it made you stop coming y eso fue lo and que serving and, and it made you discouraged. Hizo que pararas de servir y te, te, te hizo desan, te desanimó. Can you play the piano, please? Just play the piano really quick. Fuck. 
Father, help me discern what you're trying to do. Because I know, and God was telling me firmly, y Dios me estaba diciendo firmemente that many of us felt discouraged. And it's not only been huge, but it's been all of us. Y no es solo una persona, es todos. Tonight is your night. Hoy es tu noche. Where you can come to God. Donde puedes venir a Dios. And say, God. Y decirle, Dios. I need your help. Necesito tu ayuda. I'm crying now like that woman. Te estoy suplicando como esta with mujer. With the olive oil. Con este aceite. I don't have anything to give anymore. Ya no tengo nada que dar. I feel lost. Me siento perdido. I feel empty. Me siento vacío. I feel empty. Me siento vacío. But you're asking me to give more. Pero me estás pidiendo que te dé más. But how? Pero cómo? How am I gonna give more when I don't feel anything anymore? Cómo te voy a dar más cuando no tengo nada? How am I gonna give more when I don't feel love for the people? Cómo te voy a dar más si no siento amor por las personas? How am I gonna give more of my service? Cómo voy a dar más servicio? When I lost passion to serve. Cuando perdí la para servir. When I feel empty. Cuando me siento vacío. When I feel dry. Cuando me siento seco. When I feel like I'm just coming to church and I'm not doing anything. Cuando me siento que solo vengo a la iglesia sin hacer How nada. How am I gonna do this? Cómo voy a hacer esto? Many of you Muchos de ustedes have felt like that woman. Se han sentido como esa mujer. Have felt depressed. Se han sentido deprimidos. Have felt frustrated. Frustrados. You felt stuck. Te sentiste estancado. You felt stagnant. Estancado. Man, many of you, many of you, Muchos de ustedes felt se sintieron and have been struggling with an addiction. Y han estado luchando con una adicción. Many of you feel Muchos de ustedes se sienten guilty culpables before God. En frente de Dios. And that's what took your encouragement. Y eso te quitó el, el ánimo. Many of you Muchos de ustedes Hila brocha tere bruku tu lubrasi tere brocha Come on, close your eyes right there where you are. Cierra tus ojos ahí donde estás. God is healing you. Dios te está sanando. Many of you stop pouring into your relationship with God. Muchos de ustedes pararon de llenar su relación Many con Dios. Many stop pouring. Pararon de llenar. In the things that you used to pour in. Las cosas que llenabas antes. And I want you to ask for forgiveness. Y quiero que pidas perdón. Because this is your day. Porque este es tu día. Where God will be lift you up once again. Donde Dios te levantará otra vez. I don't want you to feel judged. Everybody here has felt discouraged. Y aquí todos nos hemos sentido desanimados. At a certain moment, I felt discouraged. En un momento yo me sentí desanimado. In a certain moment of my life, I felt like I couldn't give anything. En un momento de mi vida yo sentí que no podía dar nada. And I ask myself that question. Y yo me pregunto esa pregunta. God, how are you asking me to give more when I don't even feel anything anymore? Dios, cómo me estás pidiendo que dé más cuando yo no siento más nada. I don't know if this work and you can relate to what I'm telling you. Y no sé si te puedes relacionar con lo que te digo. But God today wants to heal all of us. Pero hoy Dios nos quiere ir a todos. He wants to heal us. Quiere sanarnos. He wants to fill your life again. Quiere llenar tu vida una vez He más. wants to fill your olive oil jar once again. Quiere llenar tu vasija de aceite una vez más. He wants to fill you up once again. Te quiere llenar una vez más. And God knows what you've been going through. Y Dios sabe lo que has pasado. When I was praying in my house. Cuando lloraba en mi casa. God was just filling me up once again. Dios me estaba llenando una vez más. Because I told you in the beginning. Porque yo te dije en el principio. Everybody will come to a point in place and time. Todos van a llegar un momento en tiempo. Where we will feel empty. Donde nos sentiremos vacíos. Where we will feel stagnant. Donde nos sentiremos estancados. But if you are like that woman, Pero si tú eres como esa mujer, and you say, you know what? I don't care what other people say about me. Y dices, a mí no me importa lo que otros digan de mí. I don't care what people have to say about me. No me importa lo que la gente tenga que decir de mí. And you recognize, y reconoces, that you need the help. Que necesitas la ayuda. And you need to cry out tonight and say, yes, God, I need you. Que suplicar decir, sí, Dios, te necesito. 
I want you to come to the front. Quiero que vengas al frente. And I want you to bow down before God and ask Him. Y quiero que te inques al frente de Dios. Fill me up once again. Y pedirle lléname una vez más. Yes, I've been feeling this way. Sí, me he estado sintiendo de esta manera. I felt discouraged. Me sentí desanimado. I felt angry with the church. Me sentí enojado con la iglesia. I felt angry with this person. Me sentí enojado con esta persona. I felt resented with this person. Sentía resentimiento con esta persona. I felt like I couldn't forgive this person. Que no podía perdonar a esta persona. I feel stagnant. Me sentí estancado. I feel stuck. I want to come out of that. Yo me quiero salir. I want to come out of that hole that I feel like I can't. I can't come out. Yo quiero salir de eso que siento que no puedo salir. I want to come out of that addiction that I can't overcome. Quiero salir de esa adicción que no puedo sobrepasar. I want to come out of that guilt. Quiero salir de esa culpa. That I've been going through. Que he estado pasando. Come on, present your enough tonight. Present, present your life and say, you know what, God, this is what I can offer. Tu vida y dile Dios esto es lo que tengo para dar. For God, there's nothing. Para Dios no hay nada. That can seem so little. Que pueda parecerse como poquito. All He wants. Todo lo que él quiere. Is all you have. Es todo lo que tú tienes. For God to transform it. Para que Dios lo transforme. Into abundance. En abundancia. Perhaps tonight. Tal vez hoy. This is your night. Esta es tu noche. For you to to revive what you have lost. Para que tú revivas lo que has perdido. To feel. Para que llenes. What you lost. Lo que perdiste. Perhaps many of you guys felt lack of joy. Tal vez sentían. Perhaps many of you guys felt. Tal vez se sentían como que no tenían gozo. I don't know. No sé. You name it. Tú nómbralo. The Holy Spirit. Pero Espíritu Santo, I come asking you tonight. Te vengo pidiendo esta noche. Fill, fill them up again. Llénalos una vez más. Fill them up again. Llénalos una vez más. Fill the olive oil once again. Llena su aceite una vez más. Fill me up once again, God. Llena mí una vez más, Dios. Fill me up. Llena me más, Dios. Fill me up. Llena me, Dios. I cry out to you tonight. Yo te suplico hoy. I cry out to you tonight. Come on, right there in your own words. Ahí en tus propias palabras. There are things that you stop pouring into. Hay cosas que paraste de llenar. And it's time to pour again. Y es tiempo que llenes una vez más. It's because I don't want to pour again because I know that I'm gonna be disappointed. Es que no quiero llenar porque sé que voy a ser. It's because I don't want to keep going to the house of peace because I'm gonna feel disappointed. No quiero ir a la casa de paz porque me voy a decepcionar. It's because I don't want to serve again because I'm gonna feel dry once again. No me quiero servir una vez más porque me voy a sentir seco otra vez. It's time to pour. It's time to pour. It's time to pour what you have. I don't know if you're understanding me. No sé si me entiendes. 